Hello guys, welcome back and good morning. This is uh, another tutorial on this good Friday morning and a tutorial how to install GSI image on LG V50. Thin Q. Can you see the 5G over here? Blinking. All right. Before I begin, just a short brief about the partition, the slot on the internal drive of any smartphone this is a POCO F3 Redmi 10X 5G and LG V50 with two slot slot AB only one slot slot A and on LG V50 two slot slot AB on POCO F3 got a dynamic partition on box slot AB Redmi 10X dynamic partition on slot A and LG P50 using still using the older style of Android on slot AB right At the moment, I'm using a GSI image on this LG V50 Android 12. Link to download the GSI I will give in the description. Also, the file that are needed. You only need a modified bootloader only. You don't have to use any recovery to flash the GSI only the modified boot loader. Everything working fine. GSI. Okay, uh, I'm going to flash back the system by either using the fast boot mod but you better learn how to flash using LG up first I have to switch off the pawn okay to connect to download mod on LG pawn step this aside you just hold the volume plus volume minus you will get into a bootloader after this I show you right now I'm going to flash the stock LG firmware via LG up hold the volume plus and connect the cable the USB cable that are connect to your PC You will see this logo. This is a flash mod. Open your LG app. What happened? What is that sound? Why so long the loading? Check the driver the port LG Android Net. This is the flash port. Another one EDL 
that one Qualcomm 9008 what happened to this LG app wow so slow okay it's connected via COM3 COM port 3 and I am going to flash Android 12 the KDZ Android 12 this is the last update of this LG B50 Tin Q this is a LGU model you get the correct firmware for the correct port if you also are SKT get the SKT LGT get LGT mine are LGU the last update of Android 12 Okay. seen this one already this is the the file the KDZ firmware right COM3 refurbish the file and start that's it to set up this LG app use the version 116 the latest one I think and the uh, DLL file you the common file uh, this is the uh, I think this one Where are my file? And uh, see. LG. LG. Same also over here. Driver since I update to window eleven yesterday, everything changed from window ten. Window ten are much simpler. Windows 11 a bit sophisticated but a bit faster than Windows 10 where's my backup the driver this one is the LG up the command DLL install this one, install LG up if you want this file, I'll give it to you it's two only command DLL and LG up you run this one, run this one that's it and this LBL modified bootloader if you still got it, that's good if you haven't, I will upload it also with this LG up the file that uh, needed and also the GSI image I got a lot link for downloading while flashing we take a look first at the GSI image link to download this one is a pixel experience by PS for 
sponsors, paid sponsors. <laughs> this one more stable. The other JSI also Android 13. This is the latest Spark OS. I test it on LG B50 boot loop. You use better use the Android 12 for any Android 12 you prefer. All are uh, no problem. I'm using the latest unofficial one, this one, Aero OS. After this, we flash this GSI. You download, click download, get the ARM64, not the A64. Finish, finish flashing. ARM64, slim. This one is a pull. Last GF, all, all the GMS. This one a bit uh, minimal, the Google app. Up to you. I prefer the big one. Download any and extract because this one still inside the zip folder. Right? We already finished flashing. Close this one. You can plug off your cable. This video may be a bit long because I will explain to you in detail. what are the slot what the active slot right while waiting for this one to boot on this lg p50 got two slot like for example these two are the slot slot a slot b on factory the when they flash the firmware they flash both slot a and B like just now just now I flash the firmware the KDZ Android 12 to both of this slot A and B so the active slot are A don't worry about this it will start again active slot are slot A Please, yes, no. When there is an update, uh, let's say OTA, you receive an update via OTA, so the update will be flashed to slot B. So the active sl uh, the active slot now are slot B. Before this, we got Android 12 on this slot A and B. The update will be pushed to slot B. So the active slot are slot B now. If there is another update, you get another update, OTA update, then that update will be pushed to slot A again. Vice versa. Until the last update. So the last active partition could be A or B. So we're flashing the GSI on the active slot, either A or B, that's not a problem, only on the active slot, remember that, active slot. If your pawn, first you receive the pawn uh, on Android 10, still Android 10, okay, hold on. And then you receive update Android 11 at the moment from the Android 10 active slot slot A. When there is an update Android 11, that Android 11 will be 
right to slot B. So at the active slot, uh, slot B, Android 11, slot A, still Android 10, because this one is the oldest. When there is another update, Android 12, the Android 12 will be written on this uh, slot A. So the active slot now, slot A, Android 12, Android 11, Android 10, no more and so on so it keep on changing the slot but don't worry about the slot because now the phone already on android 12 on both slot sekarang phone ni dah android 12 di kedua-dua slot so slot yang aktif adalah slot A oh, banyak betul huh. slot where this is what we call blood where the unnecessary file a lot of blood where LG blood where okay the active slot now slot A but the bootloader still using the stock LG bootloader this bootloader don't have the fast boot all right now we're going to flash the modified bootloader android 12 if you want to see update center app update this app update no software update no more that was the last one about phone android 12 right we're going to boot to qualcomm 9008 we're going to flash the modified bootloader, the ABL bin, this one. Right? To boot to bootloader, hall, volume, eh, sorry, power, volume minus, volume plus, plus, minus, power. You must uh, get, don't worry. Just hold it until it restart. You keep on pushing the plus volume, clicking it until it boot to. Oh, sorry, not yet. So a bit tricky. Now, nope. one more time. Just hold it until it restart. Okay. When it restart, you keep on pressing this volume plus, but still holding volume minus and power button. Press, 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 press. Now it putting to because you already hear the connecting sound. You check by device manager the port. This is the Qualcomm 9008. Right. 
you feel to install this one just search the net or follow my previous video port com3 connect the port and uh, fire hose I will give it to you also this one and this one modified boot loader the fire hose this is a must otherwise you can't get into this uh, queue loader this is a fire hose and flat bill make sure this one UFS that's it and first we're going to replace the ABL before that you back up go to partition manager ok you wait 3 seconds after that now we are in the partition manager First, back up your boot image. We are on the COM3. The folder for this uh, backup are in your C user, your PC name, app data. This one are hidden. You can unhide it. You are in the view you tick the sorry inside here wrong me Qualcomm Q fill now we are using COM3 that depend on your port At the moment, I don't have any backup over here, so we're going to back up the. Cause both of my petition A and B are the same file. So just back up the put image, ABL. Boot A. Right click. Manage partition, read data. You will see over here. Okay, this is the bin file. Close. You rename this one. Boot underscore a. If you want to back up the boot B, also can, but both files are the same on mine because I already flashed the Android 12. If yours are slot A, Android 10, slot B, Android 11, that's a different story. So, back up A, back up B. Back up kedua duanya. Takut yang slot A, Android 10, slot B, Android 11. Ataupun slot A, Android 11, slot B, Android 12. And the most important part, ABL. You pick up also ABL. ABL A. Right click, manage partition, read data. Rename this window 11 a bit tricky ABL underscore A ABL A close pay up another ABL B right click manage partition read data so rename this one eh. A B L let's go B mine are both 112 if yours 
from Android 10 and update to Android 11 could be the A is Android 10, B is Android 11. It's a different version of Android. Be careful about that. Okay. Now I'm going to override the uh, ABL, the bootloader. I'm going to flash the modified bootloader. So go to your ABLA again. After this, I explain why we need to use the ABL modified put loader ABLA right click manage partition now we load the image before this we read now we're going to override it with the modified put loader over here this is the this is my system I back up my BB meta System.bin, you can back up your system, it's up to you. In case you want to get back to original OS, just flash the system. Okay, click this. Oh, sorry, click it and open. It's already override the A. Now we're going to override the B, ABLB. Manage partition, right click, load image, same ABLA, this is a modified bootloader, ABL stand for Android bootloader, ok, finish, close, save partition, that's it. Okay, wait for five seconds and then we exit this one. Alright, finish. That's it. To start to on the phone, just press these three button volume plus, volume minus, and power together. We're going to flash GSI image via fast boot. Now we already have the modified boot loader. Okay. Lock off first. Don't connect it first. Switch off your phone. Power off. Right, when it power off, hold volume minus, volume minus, volume plus. When we flash uh, with LG up, you hold volume plus to boot into flash mode. Now we're going to boot into boot loader, the fast boot. Hold volume minus, hold volume minus, and connect the cable to your PC. Now we are in a fast boot. You can see the driver over here. Android boot loader. Right? To flash this one, very, very easy. I already make a simple command very simple command just copy and paste right over here this folder your GSI image you get the uh, BB meta just now you back up put it inside here 
and also the GSI image. We're going to flash the Hero OS. This one is the latest, 20th of September. Right now, your cursor you put inside this folder. Hold Shift button on your keyboard. Hold Shift, right click, open PowerShell window here. Also, you can use this uh, command prompt, but better use window powershell this one much better okay now we're going to flash the bb meta to disable the verification just copy and paste copy paste and press enter right and then we're going to format the system you see that now the active slot are a can you see active slot a you don't worry about the active slot jangan ambil hal jangan ambil peduli dengan slot a ke b ke mana-mana slot pun boleh okay we're going to format the system. Copy and paste on the format. Right. It erasing the A only. The B is still LG system. Now we're going to flash the system. Copy and paste. Paste. Over here you must have space. Space and pull the GSI image which one you prefer they up to you the one that I test that are good are Spark OS Android 12 Aero and CR Droid also ok that's depend on your test right pull Android 12 and enter it's flashing after this this minus w is for erasing the user data on the slot a the active slot are slot a we're going to erase the user data the meta data and the cache data all at one go a bit slow first time memang dia agak lambat sikit kalau kali ke kedua kamu flash lagi kamu override yang lama masuk lagi GSI kamu boleh tukar mana-mana GSI you can change any GSI image at any time as you like If you don't like this one, follow the same instruction, format the system, flash system again. Uh, format, eh, not format, erase the user data and reboot, that's it. You don't like that, that GSI, you flash another GSI boot to fast boot. Format the system, flash system, okay, finish. Now we're going to erase the user data and metadata copy this one and paste here and enter erasing user data your metadata and cache already finished that's it and last one fast boot reboot okay you will see the pawn reboot 
very simple Aero OS booting really fast Lepas ni saya tunjuk balik, uh, kita tukar dia. Tukar GSI ni guna pixel ke mana-mana yang kamu suka. Dia ada slim, dia ada big. Slim ni kurang sikit dia punya GF. Sebagusnya kamu guna yang penuh lah, AB. Uh, yang big, BG. link untuk download saya akan bagi mana-mana GSI boleh guna tapi tak semuanya mengikut cita rasa kita terbergantung dengan kamu yang mana kamu suka, kamu guna The GSI image depend on your test which one you like you use which you don't like just forget about it this one the last update 11 September so this says the recent update right already ESI image so this is stable uh, camera also okay not a problem So let's say if you want to change the GSI image, same procedure, power off, hold the volume minus, connect the cable because we're going to boot to fast boot. Now we are in a fast boot. Press again the PB meta copy and pass right erase the system copy and pass okay flash the system copy pass this one must have space space Space. Choose your GSI image. Let's say we want to press CR right or oh, Pixel Experience. Which one better? This one is a plus. This one is a normal one. Okay, we try the plus. Pixel Experience plus. Enter. After that, erase the user data, metadata, and cache. After that, reboot. Senang kan? daripada flash uh, custom rom custom rom kamu kena guna uh, recovery kadang-kadang bila selepas kamu flash rom terlupa nak flash recovery itu jadi masalah nak root lagi senang To root upon even simpler just flash the boot image fast boot flash boot but the boot image must be patched with the magic 
right copy this one maybe after this may on the afternoon I will show how to flash on this uh, Redmi 10X the dynamic partition this one a bit different but same procedure this uh, POCO F3 same procedure as this LG V50 ok copy this one erase the system uh, no sorry erase the user data metadata and catch ok fast boot reboot copy and pass if you want to flash the original system flash back the system that you already back up your back up I am still uh, in the C user PC name app data roaming Qualcomm your Q fill and the port that you are using this is just about here the backup that's it very easy now we're going to root it this one pistol experience but uh, almost all are the same pixel or whatever GSI I think the CR droid are more optimization CR droid lagi bagus sebab banyak boleh diubah sistem tu you log into your Wi-Fi, whatever connection you are using. Android net sooner single RTB interface what is that alright boot image where is my boot image it's not here my C C C C C app data Roaming, Qualcomm, Qfield, Comfort 3, my boot A, copy here, we're going to root the device, you need the uh, Magis app using that 25 in case you boot loop your boot loop is not booting problem with the GSI go back to the fast boot restart the pawn holding the volume minus and connect the cable you will get into a passport redo again erase system flash system erase user data and reboot test it any GSI will do I will skip at the moment skip everything We 
we're going to root it. This is a pixel experience, right? File transfer. Hello. Just this one. Stick it. Okay. This one also okay. Because some of the GSI image problem with MediaTek so far on uh, Snapdragon is all okay. Magis copy to internal whatever you want external ka, internal ka. and for the driver this one the driver the 615 driver switch right folder and uh, xns311 right finish For XNS player, first install your XNS. Top, oh, sorry. This one inside the SD card internal. Install the XNS. Setting, allow, install. Install magic, come on. Magic, install. Do the setup on the XNS first. Okay, where is it? Hmm? One more time, pre install. Hmm? Where's the icon? Hey, yeah. Why I don't see it? Okay, do setting on XNS, Lolo. Agree. Because this one very allergic to Magis. Install it first. If you install Magis first, don't worry. Eh, uh, not. Uh, if you install the module, disable it. M setting. Switch right in the switch folder, the game folder. Okay, can test it. because I haven't logged into my Google that's why the password not pop up alright to install the Magis module open your Magis eh, not module now we are routing it sorry sorry install see over here install routing eh? next Just now, did I uh, copy the boot image? Then worry. I think I haven't copied the boot image. Nope. Copy the boot image to your pawn first. Forgot this one. Select the 
put image let's go sorry for the long video I don't want you to get in the trouble right all done just quit and copy the patch boot image the patch boot image yang boot image dah di patch oleh magis copy to any way you like I'm copying it here this one is the old one paste here we're going to flash this uh, patch boot image right now boot to fast boot mm, don't have this uh, plug off first power off ok hold the volume minus plug the cable now you are in fast boot you can use the command prompt fast boot flash boot very tiny ok you pull this uh, patch boot image and flash you see it's automatic to A because the active slot are A ok don't worry about the other slot pass boot reboot why happen to my camera it hang <laughs> Freezing. Right, that's it. Now the Magis module. How to flash the Magis module? The driver, six one five driver. We already have the root. Go to the module view. Select the module where you put the model where you copy the model just now I copy my model inside the internal this is the module and flash ok finish and reboot that's it 615 driver very simple and very effective compared to the custom ROM because custom ROM sometimes you will get in trouble because of the recovery another one is routing it is a method it very simple if you don't, don't want the boot uh, sorry, if you don't want the root, you flash back the boot image, the stock boot image, the A1. A or B is the same, as, as long it is not patch. This one is a patch boot image, this is the stock boot image. You flash back this one, your device become unrooted. That's it. Very easy. That's it from me and thank you for watching all the file I will be uploading it after this uh, new folder V50 GSI plus okay inside here the modified 
boot image the Arduino driver the firehouse and also the command the simple command hey, sorry where are you GSI command A B what more I think this one is enough for you oh also the LG up this one very important LG up in case your pawn in trouble this one over here best uh, and then this LG driver install this one the recovery nah no need Okay, all of this file will be zip. And will be uploaded after this 56 megabyte only. Alright, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video.